George's presence as one of the heroes of the show was a rebuke to the prejudice of the time. Star Trek imagined a future in which all of Earth's races lived together in peace and joined with species from alien planets to explore the galaxy in friendship. In the midst of a war, race hatred and turmoil, George and his Star Trek colleagues made a hopeful statement that humanity could not only survive its divisions, but through mutual understanding, could create a humane future where those who were different would cooperate rather than dominate each other. That bold vision continues to inspire audiences around the world. For decades, that same ethic of understanding and cooperation has guided George's work as an activist, humorist, and social media sensation. In addition to starring on Broadway and serving civic organizations, he has spoken out against Islamophobia, spoken up for immigrants, and stood tall as an LGBTQ leader. From outer space to cyberspace, George has led a life of conscience, artistry, and integrity. We are proud to have him as a member of our Bruin family, and it is my honor to introduce George Takei. Congratulations to the class of 2020, and congratulations to UCLA on its centennial. This historic convergence makes you, the class of 2020, an exceptional graduating class. You are the centennial graduating class. There will never be another UCLA class like yours. You are unique Bruins. I too am a Bruin, but not as special as all of you. I graduated from UCLA in 1960, half a century plus a decade ago. The circumstances are different, but the feeling of hope in the future is the same. Today, we gather virtually to celebrate the conferral of your degrees in a uniquely 21st century high-tech way. But rest assured, your hard-earned degrees will be real. You guys are so futuristic. And I am comfortable being with you virtually because I spent a good part of my acting career in science fiction, soaring through the 23rd century galaxy at the helm of the Starship Enterprise, boldly going where no one had gone before. Make no mistake, you also will be going where no one has gone before. You are living in pandemic quarantine, and with that comes fear, stress, and challenges. But in quarantine, you also are living through extraordinary human history. You are seeing heroes, frontline medical workers feverishly working to save the sick, researchers urgently searching for vaccines. And out of this tumult emerge unsung heroes from unexpected places. Factory workers giving of themselves tirelessly day and night producing desperately needed masks and gowns, bus drivers risking exposure, transporting essential workers to their jobs, volunteer nurses traveling from distant states to the very epicenter of the pandemic to help frontline medical staffers. COVID-19 is relentless. The quarantine is playing havoc with our economy. Commerce has plunged precipitously. People have been ordered to work from home using technology, and tens of millions more have been made jobless. Desperate people are demonstrating at state capitals, some carrying assault weapons. And where we expect leadership, we find shocking dysfunction. It is a virtual dystopian state. We live in a time of heroes and menaces. In the midst of this dark moment, a totally unexpected change has suddenly happened all around us. The blue vastness of the sky has turned impossibly pure. The air is crystal clear. Lawns look greener and lusher. Trees have become luxuriantly leafy. 
Even the songbirds seem happier. And the faraway hills have never looked so near. Our planet is new again. And this is not virtual. It is breathtakingly real. This miracle has happened because of us. We made it happen. Ironically, because of what we didn't do. What we did not do was use fossil fuel guzzling vehicles, cars, trucks, trains, and airplanes. Factory smokestacks that pollute the air were stilled, and the spring rain washed the air clean. We have seen the renewal of our world, and our conduct created this miracle. You, the extraordinary generation, are a part of this extraordinary phenomenon, and you, our youth, can create a new version of our future. So we look to you, the high-tech generation, to seize this moment. This planet has become, however briefly, returned to its primal state. Now let us seek out our own human essence, the primal us. What makes us us? We are the most intelligent animal who walked the earth, but humans are more than that. We are also individually distinctive, each one of us with our own singular characteristics. Some of you are hunters. You search for and seek out facts. Others are gatherers, collecting, sharing, and inventing. A number of you are builders, making structures that reach higher and higher, or as entrepreneurs, taking ideas and developing them into new ventures. And there are those who think differently, the artists, the poet, and the outliers among you. And from each of these distinct groups will rise those with the strength of character, wisdom, and capacity to inspire others as leaders. You are so diverse, and yet you are one, the Bruins of the Centennial 2020 class. This is your moment. Look ahead. Claim a newly imagined future. The crew of the Starship Enterprise was guided by an acronym, IDIC, I-D-I-C, for infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Your class is made up of unique individuals, all aligned with a necessary common goal to improve the human condition. You, the infinitely diverse high-tech class, have the whole of human history, the glorious and the ugly, as your launching pad. Now, with the experience of the pandemic, challenge yourselves to imagine the unimagined. You have the technology that dazzles the mind. Soar with it. Aspire as no others have. Cleanse our planet. Revitalize our civilization. Discover new challenges. Stretch as far as you can. Boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> May the UCLA Centennial 2020 class live long and prosper. <laughs> for the bachelor's degree. You have demonstrated the rich reward of intelligence and perseverance. The UCLA community takes great pride in celebrating the achievements of the class of 2020. More than anything, I hope that your experience at UCLA has opened up some windows on the world for you and leaves you yearning to know more. Your undergraduate experience is just the beginning of a life of continuing discovery and the skills you've acquired here in and outside the classroom will serve you well in this rapidly changing world. Now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. Congratulations. Hail to the hills of Westwood, to the mighty sea below. Hail to our alma mater, she will conquer every Gladly 
give our hearts to thee, to the blue and to the Thank you, Margaret. That was beautiful. Today is my first day on campus in a long time, and practicing physical distancing, I'm trying to take in the many spots that are so meaningful to us as Bruins. For seniors, the inverted fountain represents one of the most significant rites of passage from student Bruin to alumni Bruin. Know that the faculty staff community misses seeing you wade in the water. I didn't actually wade in the water on your behalf, but I silently commemorated you while there earlier. If any of you remember what I always say at Bruin Day, it is that you will have UCLA on your resumes for the rest of your lives. It will always be a part of your identity, as will being a UCLA grad in 2020. Our 2020 graduates will be the class that persevered even before the pandemic with fires and floods. This moment, this challenge we all face at the end of your undergraduate careers is unique and it makes your experience distinct from those who came before you. Let it set you apart in the best of ways. Let it give you determination. Let this moment of adversity forge in you a strength to overcome, to persevere, to know that the world is inherently beautiful and that your future has only just begun. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'll see you when you get here for the next phase of this celebration. We'll leave the light on. Go Bruins!